Hi guys, welcome to Altcoin Facts with Crypto Preaching Pedro. Today we're going to go through some news that I think you need to know. We're also going to touch on some projects that I think need your attention. And I'm also going to go through a quick startup tutorial. Things you need to know when you get into the blockchain and first steps you have to take to dabble in the blockchain. First and foremost, keep in mind, this is not financial or investment advice. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And now with no further ado, let's get to it, peeps. First in the news, Singapore names 15 companies to help build its CBDC. Monetary Authority of Singapore has shortlisted 15 companies to help build a retail central bank digital currency. Guys, the whole world, every single nation, every single sovereign nation, is looking for a means to build their CBDCs to be able to transact globally. The world realizes that the blockchain is the way to go. From the 15 companies that they're actually taking into consideration and are in the final phase, the one I want you to take note of is Sora Mitsu. Why Sora Mitsu? Sora Mitsu is the technology that's behind Sora or XOR. This is a project that's on top of Polkadot. As you can see here under title, One World and One Economy. Sora is working to become a decentralized world economy system, financing and creation of new and existing applications under the democratic supervision of the Sora parliament. Guys, don't devalue some of these cryptocurrencies. Many of these cryptocurrencies are going to get real world adoption and are going to explode. They're going to explode with such intensity that your brain and your face are gonna melt. <laughs> Guys, look at this, Sora, ranked number 400 at a price of $290, but that's not it. Total supply of 345,000. Guys, this coin will one day easily be $10,000. They are building their own ecosystem of NFTs, gaming, stable coins, you name it. Take some time and research a project and more than anything, put it on your radar. Hey guys, and speaking about the CBDCs and global adoption of CBDCs, no matter which blockchain is chosen, no matter which country it's coming from or that blockchain is integrated into, Quant Network is leading the pack. They are what you would call an operating system where any CBDC on any blockchain can run on top of Overledger and transact globally. Guys, Quant has been exploding. Quant is currently ranked number 48 and is trading at $286. It is up 33.7% at time of recording. And I believe it has tons of upside. The max supply is only 14 million. That's lower than Bitcoin. In my most humblest opinion, Quant Network is the Google or the Amazon of tomorrow in the blockchain sector, peeps. So if there's a dip, Dollar cost average, but once again, I want to put quant on your radar, peeps. Next in the news, Bitcoin gaining adoption despite having inspired several altcoins with unique use cases. I want to point you to this section of this article where we read previously Willy Woo, an on-chain analyst expressed long-term investors are still climbing towards their peak accumulation which marks bottoms. Early signs to me that the bull market may continue into 2022 and BTC 
is in the process of breaking free from the four year internal cycle from the happenings. Guys, on chain analysis clearly indicate that long term holders are continuing to accumulate Bitcoin at these levels. You have to understand Bitcoin is a hedge against inflation. Bitcoin is a store of value. The altcoins, most other projects are what you would call wealth accumulation and Bitcoin is becoming wealth preservation. In order to preserve your wealth, you have to make your wealth. But the beautiful part about a nascent sector such as the blockchain, which many early adopters like MicroStrategy are noting, Bitcoin is acting as wealth preservation and accumulation as it grows in value and gains adoption. So guys, the future for Bitcoin is very bright. And believe me, you, we are at the very beginning, peeps. The very beginning. Guys, I want to draw your attention to a tweet from Mike Novogratz. For those that don't know, Mike Novogratz is the head or the CEO of Galaxy Digital. One of the largest investors into cryptocurrencies. Check out what he tweeted. Who has the research comparing the different level one solutions, speed, security, decentralization, etc. Team Galaxy is working on a comprehensive piece. Intangible coins. I'd love to see what else is out there. This certainly seems to be the era of Web3. Thanks in advance. Guys, Web3. What is Web3? Web3 is... Polkadot. Web3 are the blockchains that will revolutionize the world as we know it. Web3 is where you're going to be able to transfer value over the internet. Guys, this is insane. Through smart contracts where the middleman is removed and the smart contract executes the transaction. This is mind blowing. So peeps, do some research. And look into the Web3 blockchains, protocols, infrastructures, Layer 1 and Layer 0 blockchains. They are going to be the future, peeps. All right, all right, all right, peeps. I've been getting a lot of questions as to what steps are necessary to begin trading or investing in cryptocurrencies. Number one, you're going to need to create an account with Coinbase at Coinbase.com. This is going to be essential because this is going to be your on-ramp and your off-ramp for your fiat. So this is going to be extremely important. Without this, there's no beginning. Coinbase is a must. Now, they do ask for KYC, which is a lot of personal information, because they are SEC compliant. They're regulated by the USA, so they have to abide by all AML laws. Number two. You're going to have to install from Google extensions. You can YouTube it and there's many great tutorials. MetaMask is going to be needed because you're going to use this extension to go to decentralized exchanges and buy different cryptocurrencies. You have to be very cautious as to not to get fished. So you have to go to the actual Google extensions. You got to keep this in mind. You have to save your private key you have to save your mnemonic phrase you can't take a photo of them you have to write them down and you have to make a duplicate you gotta keep them in separate places this will allow you to load your wallet if something happens to your computer or you go to a different computer you can load the same wallet because it's actually on the blockchain so this is very important if you want to get into the blockchain and cryptocurrencies next thing you want to do because there's thousands of cryptocurrencies in order for you to keep track of the market or start researching some of these projects i would install coingecko.com and coinmarketcap.com on my computer and on my phone these are extremely important as you can see where the overall market is and you can look into different cryptocurrencies. Now, the great part about these websites, when you click on the actual 
name of whatever the project is, it's going to give you a lot of relevant information. For instance, it's going to give you the website where you can click and then you can read about the projects. It will also show you different social medias that they have. And it will also tell you what the max and total supply is. And here it will give you a slight overview of what's going on in the market with the actual cryptocurrency. It will also give you a small review of what the project does. And if you want to know where to buy it, well, if you click on markets, it'll show you all the different exchanges that are available. Next thing you need to know, next, you need to download this FTX app, which used to be Blackfolio on your phone. If you buy any cryptocurrencies, you can keep track of those cryptocurrencies. You can input how many you purchased, where you purchased them, and you can track your profit and loss. So once again, blackfolio.com. Now, this is one of the most important items that you will need when you are trading or if you're in cryptocurrencies. You have to get a Ledger X. The Ledger X is a wallet. It's sort of like a bank vault where the wallet itself, in order to use it, you have to connect it to your computer. But once you disconnect it, it's not accessible. Even though your coins are on the blockchain, there's no way it can be hacked. This is extremely important. Now, when you get your Ledger X, it's extremely important. You copy the seed phrase, you write it down, you make copies, and then you grab your Ledger X and you put it in a safety deposit box somewhere. Great part about it, if something happens to your Ledger X, that piece of paper where you wrote down your seed phrase, you can use that to import that seed phrase and upload your wallet to a new device. But guys, I cannot tell you how important this is. This is going to keep all your cryptocurrencies extremely safe. But keep in mind, you cannot go to Amazon and purchase it. You cannot go and buy this from eBay or anywhere else. People will purposely put back doors in those ledger devices. They appear to be brand new, but they're not. You need to go to ledger.com, which is located in France, and you need to order your ledger from them directly. That is the only way that you will know 100% that your crypto will be safe. Another thing that is very important when you're first getting started in cryptocurrencies, you need to make sure that you subscribe to YouTube. Why? Most of the influencers in the blockchain are on YouTube. Once again, YouTube is an extremely handy tool where you can review many projects where other influencers have performed deep dives to help you understand the technology behind those projects. Hey guys, here's a couple very important things to always do and ever do. First, let's go to always do. One, you need to always add Google two-factor authenticator for accessing all exchanges. This is a great way to avoid being hacked and getting your cryptocurrency stolen. Number two, you need to call your phone provider and ask them to require an in-person ID for any changes. Why? To avoid SIM swapping hacking. Number three, always use a VPN. You want to use a VPN to make sure that you are safe to make sure that all your information is being protected. Here's some things you never want to do. Number one, you never want to click on links sent to you by email. That's how they fish you and that's how they hack you. So if you don't know the person, don't click on any links. Number two, never use two factor texting to your phone. Why? If they can get to your phone and they do a SIM swap. They can get into the exchange and hack your crypto and take it. So never do this. Use a Google two-factor authentication. That is way safer. Number three, never click on links in Telegram groups. Number four, never share your private keys or mnemonic phrase with anyone because this will give them access to your wallet. This is so important, guys. 
no matter who they are, no matter if they are really admins or not, there's no reason why they should be asking you for this information. Never give it out. And number five, never FOMO. FOMO stands for fear of missing out. When you're in the blockchain, it's going to become very emotional. And when some of these cryptocurrencies go up, you feel like you're missing out. Guys, don't chase the pump. Instead, wait for the market to come back to you. Wait for that retracement. It takes patience and discipline, guys. But keep in mind, never FOMO. Never chase that pump. All right, guys, taking a quick look at the markets. The market cap is at $2,393,826,000,000. Looking good, baby. Guys, the market is looking good. A lot of these cryptocurrencies are exploding. The fundamentals are extremely strong. Adoption is happening in the background. Institutions are buying on the low. And I believe this is just the beginning. That's all I have for today, guys. So now let me know what you think below. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And share this video with those individuals that you think need to know about the blockchain. This is Crypto Preaching Pedro saying thank you. Long live the blockchain and see you till next time.